Bill from BC Pythons and today I finally got around to making this video I wanted to make showing the cocoa chip block uh, made by Pro Coco. Um, I picked this up a couple weeks ago up at the Indie Reptile Show and wanted to try it. I've been using ReptiChip which this stuff and ReptiChip are all the same coconut husk based substrate. So I uh, just wanted to do a quick little i'm sure everybody knows and everybody's seen videos out there of uh, different ways to do this so um, this is the way i do it and i've seen others where they dunk it completely and that takes forever to dry out so this is the way i do it you know it may be wrong it may be right but it's the way i do it and it works pretty good for me so uh, take a couple minutes, watch this, you may just learn something, and if not, um, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so what we do, you got your uh, block, dump it out into a large tray like this, throw that in the trash, there's the what I'm using product, I'm in no way endorsed by these guys, just so you know. So here, I take very hot water, about this much. Now, I usually don't mix up my entire block uh, when I do this, unless I'm doing a complete change of all 24 cages, okay? I will pour the hot water on the block. Let it soak in, just like so. Sit back, you know, maybe dance a little, do some. Watch some great videos. Watch, uh, make sure to go and check out uh, Bob and Jesse's Reptiles. They're new to YouTube and they're going to be making some videos coming up soon. Go check those guys out. And also check out Snake Dad. He's getting close to 100 subscribers now and uh, really getting his videos up and going. So here we go. Take a look here. And as you can tell, it starts to expand. Get a little, little, little of the excess runoff. And then just literally with your hands start ripping the coconut off and if it's real tough come back grab me some more hot water pour it on there let it sit for a few more seconds go and watch some great videos uh, that's what you do during this time or clean your snake cages so uh, I'm gonna let this set for a minute and grab the camera and make a quick tour. And here's the tarantula collection. Showing off our new OBT, our Carabina Versicolor Sling, our Gramostola Pokripes, Chaco Golden Knee is his common name. Also the Abic Abic Common Pinto, our P. Regalis, of course, who has burrowed itself in behind the flower and behind the bark. And, of course, our metallica pink toe so and here's the snake rack everybody's pretty much snoozing right now except for mr uh mr banana's out let's say hi to him he's recently back on food from after mating with the big girl so he will uh be getting back on food and picking up some weight that he lost during that whole time so and over here, we got all the young juveniles moved into this three-tier rack. Everybody's doing good. Let's see if anybody else is awake. Nope, don't see anybody else up right now. There's my little stinger bee. And then what I do is rub the side of the coconut block with your fingers firmly. And you'll see... Lots of pus coming off. Now this in itself is going to be pretty damp and you don't want to put this in right away uh, with your animals. So what I do next is, as you can tell, the steam from the hot is already starting to break up the dry. So I take the dry and start breaking it up and mixing it with the already saturated cocoa fiber. And then start rotating it around, getting it mixed together with the dry stuff, a little more dry, a little more of the 
wet. And as you can tell, the block is still fairly dry, completely dry in, in the middle. So let's see how the pieces come off. Then mix it in. And what I'm going to do is, so I don't bore you all to tears, is I'm going to break off a few more dry pieces and mix it all together. And show you. Okay, and we're back. As you can tell, the coconut and the dry and the wet mixed together is going to take a lot less time to dry than if we were to saturate it in a sink and then dump it all in a tub because I've done it both ways and this is the way I do it with mixing off the dry into the lightly uh, dampened uh, substrate. Now, just remember too when you're working with the dry coconut and breaking off the pieces uh, you'll get a little bit of the dust and so far this stuff seems to be pretty uh, good at the dust control so there is a little bit so if you have a respiratory issue you might want to wear a little mask so but then I just toss the wet and the dry together for a couple minutes make sure you get down to the bottom and pull up the really wet stuff from earlier mix that in with the dry and I'll let it set overnight and then the next day, you'll be ready to put it in your tubs. So generally what I do is pull a tub out, clean any uh, debris out of the tub, put the new, dump out the old coconut, put in the new coconut, and I do it about every three months. So, and I spot clean, you know, of course, weekly, daily, like we all should be doing, okay? But uh, that's when it's time for a complete change of coconut. So, but anyway... Um, that's about all I had on the coconut thing, and uh, I think you'll find it, you know, a lot easier to work with than waiting two or three days for the uh, completely saturated coconut to dry out to work with. So, this is my opinion. Not right. It's not wrong. It's just my channel, the way I like to share my information. So, uh, think with it. Work with it. See if you like it. And uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share this video. And as a surprise, uh, we are going to do a 900 subscriber giveaway. We're only 30-something away from that. So, just wanted to throw that out there. So, it's going to be a surprise giveaway. And it will be something that each and every one of us can use. And that's going to be a surprise. So, so please comment below. Share like subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when we go live like last night for our new obt uh unboxing we did so and if you got any questions about working with coconut substrate just leave me a question below or shoot me a message on instagram and we'll get it worked out for you so from all of us here at bc pythons thank you for watching thanks for subscribing oh almost forgot we made it over 850. So that means we're giving away a couple t-shirts. So Thursday night probably. I'm gonna give everybody 24 hours. 48 hours, I mean. I can count. 48 hours. And uh, make sure you commented on that 850 official video. And that's what we'll use the comment picker for. Uh, to win one of these fabulous, two of these fabulous shirts. So get over there, make sure you're commenting for your chance to win. We'll use the comment picker to do that. So, everybody uh, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. And enjoy the day.